Wale, shot clock at three, at two. Turner reaching in. Alicia Gray from behind the line. And down it goes. And now we've got Brittany Griner going after Anigwe. And this could get ugly. Griner is being held back by numerous players and now trying to throw punches. Agler now is being pushed along the sideline on the press row. My goodness. It has been intense and chippy and now still going after it and trying to be restrained was Anigwe. You know, we talked about the easygoing attitude of Brittany Griner. She's had enough of it. She went nose to nose with Kayla Davis who now Davis is saying, all right, let's help calm things down. But Brittany Griner on her bobblehead night was hoping to celebrate with a victory and help well, lead her team. Gonna, but she boy, she has got... Her. She has a wicked look on her face right now. And now Jen Gillum putting her in a bear hug. Brian Agler was being smashed against the press table. As this breaks out in the fourth quarter of a hotly contested game. Brittany Griner now being led back to the locker room by Jen Gillum. Definitely some, some contact down below. So there you can see Anigwe being boxed out by Bonner. Bonner, or excuse me, by Griner. Griner had their that arms arm locked up. up. Yep. They got their arms locked yep. up, and you see Anigwe pulling away, and it must have pulled in a way that Griner was not happy about, obviously. And we've seen that before so many times with Griner at six foot nine. Nobody has a good angle at what started it in the corner, and they're in front of that Mercury bench. Although. They are actually having a good look at it right now. Yeah, we can't yeah, see. Yeah, we can't see it. That's, that's the first look as they were rewinding it. A good wide angle to see what started it in the corner. try to keep track of all of the ejections that were made. We mentioned the three players that came off the bench. Kayla Thornton has been ejected as well. We mentioned Brittany Griner, Tarazi, Breon January will get the full total. Hopefully it'll appear on the scoreboard and here on the, uh, the stat board. But that, there goes Diana Tarazi. Well, certainly we, again, we haven't seen that something like this happened very often in the WNBA and you can see how both benches as far as players on the bench wanting to come out and help and protect their teammates so here you have it the ejections for the fight itself Griner Thornton and Anigwe and then for leaving the bench it's Tarazi along with Breon January and Kayla Davis six players have been ejected of course Tarazi was not active for this game but six different players have been tossed. At this point, if you're Detroit, and this one can just about ice it. Detroit Whoa. has a out left. Here we go. Okay, this is absolutely inexcusable. I got you. I got you. Oh. Mahorn pushed away Lisa Leslie who fell backwards onto the court and then Milton Jones hit Mahorn in the back. Yeah, there's going to be some suspensions and some fines and there should be. This is inexcusable behavior. Absolutely no place in the game for this. Cheryl Ford is back on the floor. And what had become a physical game is greatly deteriorated. Look at this play. Now the officials will go to the monitor and make some determinations here. We need the wheelchair. We need the wheelchair.
This is Ford and Parker tied up with one another. Or excuse me, Pearson and Parker. And trying to play peacemaker, Cheryl Ford might have injured her knee. See, Ford is trying to play peacemaker, and that's when she went down, trying to contain Lynette Pearson. Rivalry is one thing. Unsportsmanlike conduct is a completely different thing. You saw at the top left corner of your screen, Milton Jones hitting the horn on the back because he pushed Lisa Leslie away and Lisa crashed to the floor. Ford, meanwhile, is in a wheelchair, literally being wheeled off the floor right now. There's still four and a half seconds left. With 12.9 seconds left, Mystics can hold for one here. Tie ball game, 40 apiece. No timeout by Coach Mike Tebow. Five to play. They get it to Elena Deladon. Three with two to play. With one fading away, no whistle. As the Mystics was trying to draw the foul. Oh, look out. Oh, my goodness. Look out. Oh, goodness. Right in front of us, it was Hawkins and Candace Parker. And you rarely see that. But we just witnessed Parker and Hawkins going at it. As both teams have got to be separated. And you can feel the intensity between the Sparks and the Mystics. And still some players needing to be held back. And they'll have to review this, certainly, to see if there was any uh, extracurricular activities. But what I saw was Hawkins and Parker got tangled, and then not sure who started the pushing or shoving match. But that's where they can take a look-see on the video. And let's take a review. And there it is. They got tangled up. I'm not exactly sure why they got so heated about it. But Parker took exception. And they got to review this. And she certainly took exception. I'm not sure exactly why. It kind of got out of control. Let's bring in Christy Winter-Scott. It's not the playoffs yet, but boy, that last series right there showed the fire and intensity. In the second half, how do you come out of the locker room with composure and poise? Sure. I mean, that starts with Deli and I. Um, you know, we'll talk to everybody in the locker room, everybody cool off. Um, it's a game. There's a lot at stake. There's two competitive teams as part of basketball. It's fun. What did you think of that first half? Well, it, it got, the Mystics, they got off to a pretty rocky start. Uh, obviously, falling down by as many as 13. But uh, they stayed consistent, and they stayed steady. Obviously, Christy Tolliver, she had, um, uh, was a big reason why they were able to get back in this game, as well as Elena Del Don. And most excitingly, we had a fight at the end of the first <laughs> half, which was incredible. <laughs> Yeah, Not the was, fight, but the play. <laughs> it was like, I was, I, I, you know, we've done these games for so long. Yes. I was trying to think, when was the last time we saw a real practice like that? I don't think we have ever. I know, right? Or been that close to yeah. being uh, <laughs> in the middle of one. Uh, but I think it just speaks to the volumes of how contentious the competitive yeah. nature is of this game and they're not even at the playoffs yet but all of these games are so invaluable to what the playoffs mean for these two teams so you can see it bubbling up in them for sure well what was interesting to me uh you know in the in the nba you see a lot of hold me back <laughs> right. there was no hold me back on this no. one okay <laughs> they, they were really going at it and as you mentioned you have two playoff teams two teams with very high competitive instincts and it, it to me it started over something that seemed to be kind of small was it just yeah. Candace Parker stepping over? I think it was, mm -hmm. was it Christy Tolliver? Hawkins. I don't remember. It was like uh, Tiana Hawkins. Hawkins. Hawkins, yeah, we'll take, yeah, a look. Hawkins. Yeah, okay, we'll I take another look here. Oh, by the way, they called a double technicals. So they it just basically is a wash. Okay. I thought Parker sort of started, but uh, you know, I'm the home broadcaster. That's so. what you're supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's a lot going on there, but you know, you heard Christy Tolliver say at halftime, Hey, we have to come out composed and play the game the right way. And yes, that happened, but that can't carry over right. because the last thing either of these teams would like to see are suspensions yeah. headed into the playoffs. I mean, each of them have one more game to play in the regular season, and then the playoffs begin next week. So you have to be smart. You can be competitive, 
but there has to be a filter and you have to be safe. Yeah, it just speaks to both of these teams because a lot of teams in this position and their position have already clinched that they would sort of be easing up a little bit. And, uh, you know, maybe this was a game that they both try to come in and take it easy, but that's not at all what anybody has seen. We've seen exactly why these teams are in the position they're in. Ciencia.